for the Blue Devils as the Pioneers trying to get something set up right now. Tyler Pace stepping in, finding Bobzine behind the cage, steps out, bounces one and scores. And the Pioneers are onto the board first with a one nothing lead. 12.33 to go here in the first. Here just across the street from Fifth Third Bank Stadium as here is a sidearm feed to Colton Jackson who bounces one past the outstretched head of the stick of Danny Fowler, the goaltender for the Duke Blue Devils and the Pioneers with a 2-0 lead here, 9.58 to go in the first. Nate Morano has it now behind the cage. And now back out in front. There's a line shot that scores from Austin French. French found himself with a little bit of space and he slings that one over the left shoulder of Danny Fowler, the Duke goalie. And in the meantime, a penalty flag thrown. And we're going to have a call here against, I believe, the Blue Devils. And found himself all alone in front of Danny Fowler. But does not put that one off of the post or in. Found it a little wide, but on the rebound, Jack Bobzine finds a cutting Connor Donahue. And Connor's there to clean it up and put it past the outstretched stick of Danny Fowler and the Pioneers do have the lead back. It's 4-3 to three with 4.42 to go here in the second quarter. Long feed out up top to Colton Jackson who fires a shot and scores. What a look from Colton Jackson who was maybe 15 yards away and just raced in off of the far side post and lances one past Danny Fowler. And the Pioneers now with two unanswered goals have a 5-3 to three lead. Miller. Tries to walk in against two Blue Devil defenders and slips around one and launches one and scores. Zach Miller, I talked a few minutes ago about how everything seems to be in slower, slow motion for Zach Miller than anybody else. Chris Cody was all over Zach Miller, who took one step to his right, spun around to his left, and found himself alone one-on-one, -on -one, cutting in from the near side and blisters one past Danny Fowler to get the Pioneers back into the lead. It's 6-5 with 6.19 to go here in the third. Four minutes and 43 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Wolford has it, launches one from just inside the box off of a feed from Colton Jackson, and Colin Wolford scores to put DU back on top at 7-6. Starting it off with a whistle, here comes Tyler Pace racing in to find Bobzy. Bobzy finds out in front Colton Jackson who bounces one and scores. Actually, no, Connor Canizero was the cutting attack man, and the Pioneers very quickly off of that faceoff get the lead right back. Took only 15 seconds, and Connor racing down, finding himself alone out in front of the cage, and a good job by Jack Bobsey to find him there. Connor cutting in, now working against a pair of Blue Devils, spins around them both in sidearms, a shot, and scores. What a shot from Connor Canizero, who got hit pretty hard by both John Prendergast and Cade Van Rophorst on that possession, but kind of raced in against both, stopped, turned around, and spun in a little curled route, brought the stick head with it, and sidearmed that shot by Danny Fowler, and the lead is up to two now. It's 9-7 Denver in front. Miller back to Bobzine, penalty flag thrown. Here's Canizero firing and scoring! Tic-tac-toe. It went Bobzine to Pace to Canizero and Denver right back in front. It's 10-9 with 12.20 to go here in the fourth. Launched out of bounds, but the Pioneers will keep it. And now out in front, there's a feed from Tyler Pace who finds Brendan Bomberry. Bomberry all alone and Denver takes advantage of the man up opportunity. Brendan Bomberry puts home the 11th goal of the afternoon for the Pioneers and it's an 11-9 lead with 11-19 to go in the fourth. Here's Bryce Perrietti. Perrietti with a line pass into Max Planning who deeks a Duke defender onto the ground and then bounces a shot home. What a move there. John Prendergast, if this was the late 90s, that's an and one mix video. That's what that was just now. What a play by Bryce Perrietti who deeks, jukes, and sends Prendergast Ankles possibly broken onto the field and then bounces that shot home and the Pioneers have a tie for their biggest lead of the game now. Three goals, it's 12-9. Miller finding a cutter in Connor Canizero. Now back to Bobzine and out in front, Tyler Pace shoots and scores! Tyler Pace took kind of a diagonal feed from the near side behind the cage out in front of the goal mouth on the far side of the field and he fires a rocket that beats Danny Fowler and gives Denver the lead back at 13-12 with 5-13 to go here in regulation. 
I believe that was Bobsy. And now here's a bouncing shot from Colin Wolford that I don't think was even supposed to be a shot and somehow bounces in past Fowler. What on earth happened there? And check that, it's actually Luke Aaron right now, the senior who is in goal for Duke. Luke Aaron comes on. And Wolford, I think, was just trying to get that ball through to Connor Donahue. And I'm not sure if that bounced off of someone out in front or what, but that caught Luke Aaron completely by surprise. And with 3.05 to go, Denver builds the lead back up to two. It's 14-12. Couple of feet to have it off far side on a shot right on and a save made on Case Mathias by Alex Reddy. And the Pioneers, as that one ricochets out of bounds, will come away with it on the restart. 